What is up, guys? It is Plushy Soats. I know I haven't been doing videos a lot, but that's because, you know, kind of gave up bad quality. But I'm hoping to start again. Still not might be the best quality, but I enjoy these videos. So today we are going to do a Mario, just video game plushies in general, showcase. So let's get started with... Well, as you can see, my Mario pillowcase in the background, it's one of my favorite things for, you know, just Mario merchandise, because it's very unique, has a good showcasing the characters. So, okay, well, here we go. Well, here's my Mario plushie. He's like my first plushie. He's probably one of my favorites he's very old as you can tell you know he's got a little rip in his glove but i still like him i use him all the time this isn't gonna be the neatest arrangement but you know it's an arrangement okay so then next we have my luigi i got he's pretty old too i got him like the same day with my mario i think Barnes and Noble is where I got him. It's very old. But he's he's in Luigi's in better condition than Mario. This should last me a little longer. Very long actually. I'm not gonna get rid of these plushies. These are very good. Throw him over there up and he's backwards, that's okay. Then we'll go with hmm how about well baby Mario? Got him from Amazon and Baby Luigi got him from Amazon. They actually came in a little set, Baby Mario and Baby Luigi. So I got them both at the same time, which was nice. Throw these guys over there. Ooh, that is not a good arrangement. Okay, next we have Peach. This was actually my sister's originally, but it's. I kind of took it from my collection. And it's very unique. It's not like any other Peach plushie. I got... My sister got it for Christmas. When I got... Or... When I got a Yellow Toad. Which will be coming up next. Very cool. Very unique. I like it. It's pretty cool. It has a little zipper in the back. So, okay. Throw that over there. Then we have... Toads. I have only three, so, yeah. Well, right now I got Yellow Toad and Blue Toad. My Red Toad I left somewhere. I don't know where it is. I got all the ones I could find. So here's Yellow Toad and Blue Toad right here. I got, well, I got him for Christmas. Blue Toad, I have no clue where he came from. I think I might have gotten the same day Mario and Luigi. I don't know. We'll just throw him over there. Red Toad, I'll have to find. Pretty sure I know where he is. Well, I guess we'll go to Daisy. One of my newer ones. Not very recent, but somewhat recent. Good, good condition. Yeah, throw her over there, and guess we'll go over to Yoshi. Where's my other Yoshi? Oh, here he is. Okay, so we got green Yoshi, original Yoshi, and then we got light blue. Green Yoshi was actually one of my brothers. Then, same thing with Blue Yoshi, but, again, I took him from my collection. Luigi was actually one of my brother, my other brothers, too. So, yeah, throw them over there. And, let's see. Okay. Well, we have Wario and Waluigi. I got Wario for my birthday. And then, shortly after, I thought, well, when I have Wario, why not have Waluigi? Here they are. There's some of my older plushies. I've had them for a long time now. So, throw those over there. Okay. 
Next, we have my mushroom. It actually makes sounds. I just turned it off because any time you touch it like that, it, it would make one-up sound or the mushroom sound. Very annoying. So, there's a Velcro on the back that has the on and off switch. I turned it off because it would not stop. Now, here we go. Um, well, we'll go to DK and Diddy Kong. Here's DK. Very... Very old. I think he's one of the other ones I got for my birthday a very long time ago with Wario and Waluigi. And then I think I ordered Diddy Kong with Waluigi too. So these two came somewhat close together. I thought, again, if I have Donkey Kong, I need Diddy Kong. I'm hoping to get more plushies in the future. This channel is like my last hope. Okay, I guess... We might as well move on to Bowser and all his minions, because I... Okay. Here we got Bowser himself. I got him for my birthday with Bowser Jr., where he is somewhere with Toad. I know exactly where they are. I just need them. So, yeah. Bowser. Very old. Well, I might as well show off Kamek, pretty newer. As you remember, Kamek was in my first video. That was, like, the first day I got Kamek. Still very soft, you know, the plushy softness. Isn't worn out like the others. It's still pretty good. So, Kamek. And, let's see. Well, here's the two Koopalings I own, Roy and Larry. They're pretty, pretty new still. They're still a little fluffy. They're not the softest still, but... Laura, as you can see, Roy, his wand is not good. Something happened to his face. I don't know what. It might have been, I don't know, bug blood? Who knows? There's a little black thing. I don't know what it is. Then there's Larry. He's in pretty good condition. Throw them over there. Um, let's see. Well, piranha plant. Very, very interesting. Because I always find it kind of cool because there's a little pipe. It, you can kind of move his... Uh, Mouth up and down. He's just kind of cool. Then we got Koopa. I have no clue where he came from. I think I, I got Piranha Plant with Babam. Wait, no, not Babam. Uh, Chain Chomp and Shy Guy, I'm pretty sure. But here's Koopa. Yeah, just a generic Koopa. He's pretty old. I don't even remember when I got him, but he's pretty old. Then we got Goomba. He's actually... Somewhat recent. I'm shocked Goomba wasn't like the first Bowser minion I got. Still in pretty good condition. Came from Amazon. A lot of these did. Some came from Barnes & Noble, like my Red Toad, which I know where it is. Just forgot to get it. Oh, I'm really angry. Then we got Dry Bones, the dead Koopa. Ooh. He's in good condition. I forgot where I got him, but he's in good condition. Then we got Spike. I got him on Amazon. I'm pretty sure Dry Bones was from Amazon now that I think about it. But Spike, he's somewhat recent. I've always liked Spike. In Mario Party 10, I always use Spike. It's so cool. I love him. He's my favorite in Mario Party 10. I think when I was in my Mario Party 10 craze, I got Spike. So I can say I had all the characters. And I always did like this Bowser game show. I should do a video for it. It's really fun. One of my, my brother, Zach, he would uh, play Mario Party 10 at Bowser Party, the Bowser Challenge. And the knockouts, we'd have all the plushies. It was really fun. Next, we have Boo. You know, Boo. I wonder what Boos are. Like, what are they? Like, what dead things are they? Who knows? Boo. They're, they're mysteries. Then we have Lakitu. He's actually very recent, and... He's one of, he's a really, he's very nice. He's, doesn't, he comes with this weird little spiny ball. Didn't come with a spiny, like most Lakitu's do, but this is like a good condition one, because some of the bad, worst condition ones came with, you know, spinies, but Lakitu, Lakitu's kind of weird. He's like the umph for Mario Super Sluggers, and then he's the, like, I don't even know what he is in Mario Kart. Like, I don't know what you would call that. Next, we have Chain Chomp. 
one of my brothers tore off the rest of his chain. It was very unfortunate. His chain's very old. But I got him along with some... I forgot. I, I'll, remember, I'll tell you later. Then we got Cheap Cheap. This was actually also my sister's. But I took it for my collection. Because, you know, I'm like the only one that still uses plushies in this household. Cheap Cheap's very cool. Has a little beanbag stomach. Really cool. Next we have Babam. Now Babam was actually my brother's, but once again I took it for the collection. I know it's very repetitive, but I like Babam. He's pretty cool. My brother always picks him up and uses him as a ball for a mini basketball hoop. It's so annoying. Well, I don't know if he does that, but he always picks it up for a ball. Next, we have Shy Guy. Shy Guy's been one of my favorite characters, because I'm a shy guy, as you can tell. I've not shown my face, and I don't think I will until I actually get good on YouTube. So, you know, I've always wondered what's under his mask. The world will never know unless Nintendo says so. I'm so I apologize for this pile. I'm not like many other YouTubers where I have anything where I can edit with. Don't have a nice laptop for that. Here we have Dry Bowser. Now, this isn't... I know the newer, nicer one came out where it looks more like Dry Bowser, but I like this Dry Bowser. He's kind of cool. Very cool. I mean, he has a gray color, which isn't really the color he is in the Mario games, but it's fine. I got a Dry Bowser, at least. Next, we have Thwomp. Now, I actually got him this most recent Christmas. He's very cool. I was really excited to get him. I always wanted a swamp. I always said, oh, it could be like a mini pillow. So it kind of is. I don't use it as a mini pillow, but, you know, it's nice to use. I also got Blooper, who was very recent. I got him right after Christmas, around New Year's. I think he was in my New Year's video. He might have not been, but here he is, Blooper. Oh, still pretty fresh out of the box. And my most recent, Wiggler. He's so soft. I got him from Walmart. Blooper was from Amazon. And Thwomp, who knows? Mysterious. Wiggler is still so soft. I refuse to let him touch my carpets. I always keep him on like a blanket so he keeps his softness. I always think that keeps... I just started, you know, putting these guys on the carpet because they're very new. But... You know, got Wiggler over here. Very cool. And now we're going to my non-Mario plushies. Might as well start with Kirby. I don't remember where I got Kirby, but I remember I was excited to get him. And that's what started my Kirby collection. Throw him over here. Next we have D King DDD. Now his jacket can kind of come off a little bit, but, you know... It used to be sewed on like that, but it popped off. DDD, I got him for Christmas. I was so excited. I've been wanting a stuffed King DDD forever. Meta Knight, I got him very recent. He's still pretty new. Not very recent. Maybe like last year sometime. But I've always wanted a Meta Knight plush, and now here I am holding my Meta Knight plush. Next, we'll go to Sonic. Okay. Well, first we have Sonic, of course. I forgot where I got him. I might have got him at CVS. I don't remember. I know I got Tails at CVS. Here's Tails. He's got a little stain on him. I don't know what happened. I'll have to put him in the wash. And his leg's also ripped right here. But who cares? He's still Tails. Got Shadow. I got him from, for Easter. I thought when I, I got him very little. I thought he was another Sonic. Like a dark version of Sonic, but, well, he kind of is, but he's Shadow. My older brother had to tell me that. Very, very funny moment. Then, my second most recent, I would say, Eggman. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. I was playing, I raced, like, I got Sonic Mario Olympics Tokyo 2020. I was like, oh my gosh, I have Sonic, Mario, Bowser for the 8-bit thing. What about Eggman? So I bought Eggman that on Amazon. I like him because he's kind of, you know, soft. I mean, he's a little small and a little fat, but I like him. His mustache is very big, too. 
I never noticed how Eggman was bald. Like, I, you just never see his bald spot because of his mustache. Anyways, I got this Pikachu from Dave and Buster's, as you see, this blanket. You know, oh, that, oh, my knuckles. I forgot to get my knuckles. I got him from Dave and Buster's, too. So, here's Pikachu. Hubert and Pac-Man, I actually bought after watching Pixels. I, that movie's hilarious. I love it. And Cubert, I never really heard of his game. I mean, I've heard of it from Wreck-It Ralph, but I never knew what it was about. In Pixels, I love how Pixels kind of brought Cubert back, and then the Pac-Man scene in Pixels is awesome. I love Pac-Man. Speaking of Pac-Man, I got this Pac-Man goes from Dave and Buster's, Clyde. The one that doesn't rhyme, there's Inky, Blinky, Pinky, and Clyde. I'm planning to get the other Pac-Man ghosts in the future, but I can't. And here we have little Frogger. I call him Frogger, that very old video game. He's not really Frogger, but I like to call him Frogger. You know, he's really cool. And I think, you know, with a little bit of imagination, he can be Frogger. So that's my collection. I'm... Again, I can't edit or anything. I'm really bad with that stuff. I'm trying to get my older brother to help me, but he's too busy with college stuff. So here's my collection. You can take this video and watch it or leave it.